Hello, my name is Hansel and I'm five and all the one that I'm six. That was my birthday yesterday. loads of presents, ate loads of cake, and I even blew out the candles. This is my son Hansel, and he's volunteered his birthday weekend to help me demonstrate a few quick and easy lighting setups that'll be useful for shooting actuality for documentaries or a reality show. I'll be using three of these D-LED 7 lamps and some of Dado Light's lighting effects kit. When I was eating my cake, Mummy was crying, but it was happy tears because I was born six years ago. And did you know, you don't just grow in your mum's tummy, but the womb. OK, to save Mummy from her blushes, let's see how these lights and accessories are set for the birthday cake scene. The kids sit at a table set against the wall and the scene begins when Mummy brings in the cake. I'll cover the action with a handheld camera from here and I don't want to catch any of these lights in shot. The key light is in the sky, so I've adjusted the D-LED 7 bicolour lamp to match the camera's white balance setting and keep things looking naturalistic. In this setup, I'm using two lamps. The first provides a fill light and the other gives a little boost to the background using this DP1 projector and hanging off the end of that, a new gadget that reflects effect light. Dado like call it the Efflect. See what they did there? Reflect. Effect. Efflect. I'm using it to pop an extra sparkle in the birthday balloons and give a little texture to this plain white wall. The light patterns should enhance but not dominate the scene, so the DLED 7's output is throttled by a supernova gobo to keep the effect super subtle. Fortunately, this whole thing only weighs about 800 grams, so I can clamp the whole lot to a pole cap, which keeps the lamps up high and out of the way for little party goers. I know it looks like I'm pointing 90 watts of data light power into a Transformers handkerchief, but the Afflect kit is based around these flexible mirrors, and essentially it means I can sprinkle light wherever I need it. The kit comes with a couple of flexible arms and the mirrors stick on them magnetically. And if you use these effects filters and these coloured gels, you can get really arty with your backgrounds. For example, when I had some interviews to shoot against the plain office wall, I used the Afflect kit to create these textures and patterns. Now back to the birthday cake scene, and I'm using a parallel beam adapter as a fill light. This mega magnifying glass makes the light pretty harsh. In fact, it increases the light intensity by 300%. But now that 90 watt D-LED 7 is powerful enough to bounce off the ceiling, which is great because I can position it out of my way behind the camera. I've seen documentary DOPs use this trick with an 800 watt redhead. But with this versatile little LED lamp, I don't need to worry about the heat of tungsten on my back. Nice cake, Hansel. I feel sick. I feel sick. <laughs> ah, well, you can't please them all. So, this two lamp setup was a quick and easy way to give a natural scene a little boost. And now I'll explain how the data lights were set up for the interview. You didn't say action, did you? Action. Hello, my name is Hansel. We're enjoying typical inclement British weather and that means there's low ambient light inside Hansel's bedroom. I can't put any lamps outside the window because we're on the first floor and there's no sign the rain will stop. So, I'll use the light intensifier with its honeycomb filter to bounce a light beam off a reflector, which, if you'll pardon the pun, will allow me to make my own sun shine. Here's the sun. Right, and you cannot turn on the sun. I can, here, look. Look at the sun's already turned on. There's the sun. Ow! That's the sunshine. That's big. It's a big sunshine, isn't it? It looks like an eye. Next, I've put a softbox on the D-LED 7 to provide a fill light. So, would you like me to fill in the shadows for you, sir? C. There we go. A little bit of fill. How's that? This bedroom is tight for space and I've got to squeeze myself in the gap between camera and lights, so I'm using the polecat again to support both the key light and the DP1 projector. 
Using this window pane gobo will give the impression that sunlight is streaming in. Since the foreground and background are so close, I've tweaked the lights to prevent multiple shadows forming. Finessing this effect on set is easy because the blowiness of the gobo projection can be adjusted in so many ways. If only I'd realised that, instead of spending hours in post-production, next time I'll do it in camera. Yeah, but Daddy, yeah? when we go on the internet, won't they see my stinky feet? <laughs> yes, but they can't smell your stinky feet. <laughs> Data Light's DLED 7 kit is based around three bicolour 90 watt lamps that fit into this compact wheelie box. It's amazing to think that your entire lighting kit could fit into something so small. Packed alongside the lights, I've got the parallel beam adapter with its honeycomb filter, the DP1 projector, three light stands, two soft boxes, some gobos and background effects filters, plus, I'm sure with a bit of careful packing, I could fit the effect kit in there too. For the final scene, I'm shooting handheld again, and Hansel is keen to try out a special lighting effect. Tell me where we are. Uh, we're in my bedroom. Do you sleep in this bed? Uh, of course I did. And even I sleep in here while my sister called Evie. The bed is double size. Because there's another bed down there. Oh. It's a bunk bed. These are all of my buddies. And now I will reveal the book. The moon. I love the moon. <laughs> and now, by the light of the moon, a bedtime story. Blah, 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 blah. Let's give that another go, eh? Start from the beginning. The moon is a large ball of rock which orbits planet Earth. It has a dusty and bouncy surface. Well, I'm guessing that's the final take. If only bedtimes were always this easy. Let's take a quick look at how the lights are configured. I've got the lamps in similar positions as the interview, but this time I've put a softbox on the key light and the fill is pushed right up against the wall so it doesn't spill light onto the moon projection. Well, he's had enough, but I hope these easy lighting setups will help you next time you're shooting a documentary or a scene for a reality show.